Hello everyone. In this video, we will take a look at ng bootstrap. So these are bootstrap four components that are natively ported to Angular. So they don't have any external dependencies to let's say jQuery. So they will work natively with Angular. So let's see how we can get started with it. So first I will go to my desktop and let's open the command line and then I can create new project by ng new. So I will say ng bootstrap example. All right. Now it will take some time depending upon the internet speed. So I will be back when it finishes. All right. Now that it has finished, so we can change our directory to ng bootstrap example. And then I can open the project in Visual Studio Code. All right. So now what I can do is maybe Let's open it in the browser. So this is our default Angular application. Now let's see how we can add ng bootstrap to it. So if we go to installation, you can see there are a couple of steps here. So first we need to install the NPM module, then we need to import it. All right. So actually there is one other way. So if we go here to our command line, Angular now also has support for schematics. So we can directly add a package and it will automatically install its dependencies and add it to the imports maybe to add ng bootstrap to our project. So we can do ng and then add and add ng bootstrap slash schematics. So now if we run this command, it will automatically download the bootstrap for us ng bootstrap and then also add it to the import statements if required so now that it is installed so we can go to our source control here and see what files have changed so if we see here it has updated the angular.json file to include bootstrap.css inside the styles array and then here in the package.json you can see we have ng bootstrap schematics and then bootstrap and then ng bootstrap so similarly it will have updated that app module to include ngv or ng bootstrap module so maybe let's commit these changes we added ng bootstrap Now if we close this and we go to our app.component.html and if we go back to the browser, so our example is still working. So now let's see how we can use ng bootstrap components. So if we go to the website again and then we click on components here. So let's see if we want to use this accordion. So first we can see how it will look here and then we can take a look at the examples here and here is the html and here is the typescript code so here we can see there is no typescript code available so i can just copy this html here and then let's actually let's create a new component here maybe ngc oh sorry nggc ng generate component and then component will be Mm, maybe my example and then I can write spec equal to file so it won't create a test file all right so now what I can do is it also has added our component to the app dot module all right so now what I can do is I can go to my example component and I can paste this accordion code here and then here inside the app component maybe let's keep the welcome here and then after that maybe I can add app then my example so let's confirm it by going here app my example so it should work so if I go back to the application Alright, so now we can see 
the HTML is showing, but it doesn't seem to be or doesn't seem to look like this one. So what we can do is maybe let's restart the server. So it may fix the issue. So if I close it and then I say ng serve. So now let's wait it to finish the build. So now if I go back to the browser, you can see this is working now. All right. So also what we can do is we can add our app my example to the container class. So maybe we can do container and then I can paste it here. And if I save it now, you can see it is showing inside the container. So let's see one more example of how we can use another component. So maybe let's try let's try maybe model all right so if i try this one maybe i can copy this code for the model and then after that maybe let's create another example so ng gc sorry component my model and then i will say spec equal to false and here inside the model I can paste this code and if I go back to model basic.ts I can also copy this one so what I can do is I can copy this code so I can paste it here and what else we can do is I need to import these services so I can copy this one import statement so it should work now so there is one more issue here so I can either remove it then this sorry so I can either remove it this will work or I can add that ng on in it again so this is a lifecycle hook if we are adding that uh, implements flag we need to add that now we can go to app component and here after app my example component I can add app my model so now if I save it and go back to the browser and if I click on launch model you can see our model is working fine now alright